I'm gonna try to make a flower from uh, some cloth and a sphere and let's see how quickly and easy it's it's possible to do. Start with uh, adding a plane and uh, let's just go in and edit this one. The more you subdivide, the better the quality. So it all depends on your resources. There's probably a much better way to do this, but uh, we'll do the, the silly way. Cylinder and change this to at least 80, I don't know. Perfect. And let's apply and we can now delete the cylinder. We need more of these, at least, I don't know, maybe like six. For the next thing, we need to use physics and cho choose uh, cloth. You can mess around with the settings, but the only things th that matter in this case are um, the field weights, gravity to zero, and also we need self collisions and probably make this as small as possible. You can always uh, and upgrade the quality steps and change the speed multiplier or choose one of the uh, other options. This should be fine for now. Let's rotate this 45 degrees or I don't know, 40 degrees, whatever. We add a sphere, UV sphere is fine and make it smaller. Slight offset is maybe even better. Solidify just a tiny bit uh, so it looks nicer. Now if we animate the position and choose like 60 frames, let's have a look. So it goes through physics for the ball to collision object. That's pretty much it. And once it's done, we can completely hide the sphere from the render. So in the last frame, it looks all messy. Now we change the shade, um, shade smooth. Definitely want some subdivision surface. And also here you can, you can experiment with uh, subdivision levels. Two should be fine. You can go as far as three. And there you have it. Uh, it's a simple way to make a flower from cloth and a sphere.